in a way, the key from both of you is that there has to be there has to also be a top-down approach. There has to be approval from the top, or at least to get that approval, you can you can appeal to things that they they they, they value. The that by becoming more open, we will give more value to the community. That's one yeah. of the values that I think most university leaders can. Can, yeah. can latch on to they, 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 yes that's important to us we want to create contact with industry with the local community with the region's development mm. by being open we're helping people to learn about what we're doing we're, we're sharing our knowledge I think sometimes though we, um, we, we need something as simple as a database that just enables people to find this stuff yeah you know because we're having this conversation now and I'm thinking mm. about my colleagues in acoustics that have been putting, one colleague in particular that has been making videos in relation to acoustic phenomena for the last sort of 10 years and yeah. putting them online, those videos have got hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah. I've never heard him use the term OER or open educational no. resources, and yet these resources are used around the world. So, you know, I think there's an issue there. We talk about OER, but there are lots of OERs and out we, there. We yeah. met that guy 15 minutes ago, right? Yeah. Michael, yeah. who is from, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what the town is called. Yevla. Yevla. Mm. And he's saying, you know, I'm getting word from students from around Sweden who are calling me up and saying, I don't even need to open my textbook anymore. Mm. All I need to do is go and watch your videos, and I completely understand the things that are required of me. Now, does he use the word OER? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, but probably when he started, he mm. wasn't doing Irrelevant. that. No. It doesn't matter. All he was doing was sharing what he's doing and making it available to other people. And again, there are some people in, in any of our cultures who still think they should be paid for every bit of content they have. Yep. And I don't think there's any sense in trying to convince those people. Mm -hmm. At some point, we have success models now at the micro level with people like Mikhail. At the macro level, um, in my country, British Columbia is going op is yeah. going OER, Washington State, in the United States. Those examples are there now. I think that you can put together a, a coherent pitch that says, here's what it looks like on the micro level. Here are examples of it happening at the macro level. Here's the amount of money they're talking about saving. And, I mean, when my, in my country, we have you know science textbooks that are 10 and 12 years old in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. Yeah. Right. If we assume that our our classrooms are about content, then it's a huge problem. Yeah. Um, but even still, um, you know, we've got the, the we have to make allowances for those textbooks. And you could say that there's a learning opportunity there. But broadly speaking, I think the argument for holding on to them is getting less and less all the time. Caveat being that it's still not easy to keep technology running inside of schools now. Right. It, you can't undersell how hard it is to get a laptop in every kid's hand, yeah. how hard it is to keep the technology working inside the classroom. Mm -hmm. It's still a challenge, and I think, and we were talking about this today as well, you have to be honest with people about the challenges that OER brings as well, because there are advantages on this side, but on the other side, you know, um, how do you get all the content from an OER updated and onto a Kindle? Well, it takes some work. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta have a good plan for how to do that, because it doesn't just happen on its own. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially at scale, it's easy oh. to get. It's easy to do with the uh, hey, we got these two classrooms doing it. But once you want to have 150 classrooms doing it, you know. And you mentioned the the problem of the the search problem. Mm. Uh, we oh, yeah. we give people some tips of great places to find educational resources, and. But I mean, they're like there's there's lots of silos, but we still Absolutely. haven't cracked how to find the stuff. Uh, yeah. You don't just Google OER. Well, you can Google OER, but it, it it's an advanced search, and it's yeah. not always so. It's not always so accurate. But I mean, it is hard to find. Yeah. And so in a way, that's the that's the next problem. They can say yes, I like this idea, but how do I find the stuff? Well, I mean, we were talking to a very very experienced technologist today, an hour and a half ago, mm. who looked at us and said. Oh, I have this picture in my slide deck. Uh, I don't know what the rights are. What do you think? And we went, didn't you check on the rights before mm. you put it in your slide deck? And this very People experienced technologist yeah. didn't check, never thought to check, never no. occurred to him. I would never pull a picture. But I mean, if this person doesn't know, yeah. Yeah. and the thing, the key to OER is understanding licensing, yeah. right? At yeah. some point, yeah. you need to understand what that is. Yeah. And that's, that's not a message that's trickling down because the understanding of licensing, as much as I hate the fact that we have this licensing regime in the first place, in order to understand licensing, you need to have a subtle understanding of the laws, and it doesn't help you. Like, it doesn't get your class done. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get you to the chalk phase, right? No. So it's 
making people stop. And in this person's mm. case, it's yeah. kind of shocking. Yeah, yeah. But getting them to stop and go, no, 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 this actually matters. Once you, you only need to understand it once. Yeah. Once you do, you'll be fine. But that's, I think, is another issue. And taking that up with the kid, with the, with the kids, the totally. students. Yeah. Mm. I mean, because they don't know this either. And how would they?